We're gonna have a pretty rockin' breakfast. Check out that bad looking pot roast. You can still see the sear marks. Fork tender, lovely. One thing, uh, when I came back to check on the pot roast, six and a half hours later for the three and a half pound, uh, it was done. The vegetables, which never made it into the pot roast pot, I drained out the stock and then added the vegetables to that and I'll show you right now. We can see the lovely veg with again the broth that the meat was cooked in. We still want that flavor. This is leeks, rutabagas, carrots, and celery root. You can check out how I cut those on the, uh, the cutting page. So you see the liquid that is simmering is in the back. That's that liquid from the vegetables. Here I've got some cold milk. To that I'm going to add a eh, nice big heaping tablespoon cornstarch. We want to mix it in until there's no lumps. This is going to be whisked in to the simmering liquid. It'll thicken pretty much instantly. It's got to uh, simmer before it's fully thickened. I think we're looking pretty good. My whisk is right here. Slowly, since I didn't measure anything out, I'm just gonna slowly add until I get the thickness that I'm looking for. Kind of sauce-like consistency, maybe a little bit thinner than gravy. All right, so real quick, we've got the uh, thickened sauce from the cornstarch. I've got the uh, water heating up with a little bit of salt and a little bit of vinegar. The water I like to have just right there at the simmer so when the eggs go in the temperature drops it stays more towards that 180, the high end of the poaching. Let's we'll see how it turns out. Butter we'll put in the old cast iron skillet starting to melt. If you're doing it that way, the melted butter you've got to make sure covers the bread. Okay, now it's time to plate this bad boy up. You see I've got the English muffins. This uh, meat really is dynamite. Buttery tender just where we want it. Kind of falling apart with very little effort. We're going to go in with the lovely poached eggs. Whoops, we'll fix that one. Look at this freaking cheese sauce. One of the good things about the Chihuahua cheese is how awesomely stretchy it gets. This will hit it on top. Of course, put as much as you want on. I'll probably uh, get a little bit more. Bono appetito. So I didn't put you through the pain of watching me eat that. My youngest daughter likes to do uh, loud throw up noises when she hears me eat. Apparently I've got some volume to me. But uh, that was pretty freaking dynamite.